Bible translations, the truth. Unless you have the originals, you have no idea what is what. Truth, for those who don't know, the battle behind Bible translations does not start with the translations themselves, but instead it starts with the manuscripts behind the translations. By manuscripts, I'm talking about the copies of the Bible preserved in the original Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek. In a nutshell, the King James Version used a manuscript based on thousands of copies. It's reasonable to assume that the thousands of copies establish a consistent base to demonstrate some sort of stability and acceptance in the text. The modern translations, which is essentially any other Bible translation after the King James, came from another set of manuscripts that are a minute in number when compared to the majority. And the critics say they survived because no one used them. Because they were frauds, they were hoaxes, they were false scriptures. But it could also be said that they were unique and specially hidden because corruption had taken over the majority of copies. Bottom line is, without the originals, there's no way to determine which is which. So, there are errors in every translation. Is that what I'm saying? Yep. Wherever a man goes, he corrupts all that he touches in one way or another, intentionally or mistakenly. And God is fully aware of this. Some of you will say, but God promised to preserve his word. What? His writing the word on our hearts wasn't enough? Bringing his son, the word, back from the dead and bringing him back to heaven wasn't enough for you? Sending the Holy Spirit to guide us wasn't enough? All this division and bickering over translations make me sick to my stomach. Do you really think... God would allow any error in a translation if that's what it was all about. And don't tell me there aren't errors in your pet translation. Google it. There are plenty of critics on both sides of the fence that you can find them all pretty quickly. As Paul wrote in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 18, For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but to us which are saved it is the power of God. So it is with the Bible. Any translation will not make sense to someone not led by the Holy Spirit. It's foolishness to them. But with the Holy Spirit, any translation can and will be used to bring glory to Jesus Christ. This came up again because I have old videos online about the King James Onlyists and about my disagreements with their stances and about uh, holding them to the fire. You know, if you're going to criticize modern translations, you should look at the translation you're standing behind with the same critical eye but that's not what happens it's unfortunate and it's telling um, there is no spiritual benefit from fighting over translations if you truly believe that the King James is the inspired Word of God then don't attack people who don't read it Simply look at them and say, well, I'll pray they'll read it someday. Remember what Paul said, don't judge people outside the church. If those people who read those false Bibles, as you put it, aren't really true Christians, then they're outside the church. Stop judging them. Stop being so busy with other people. Take a look at yourself. Apply the scriptures to yourself. You might think you're doing that. But if you're doing all this stuff and... Love's not evident. If it's not loving, I don't know what to tell you. It's fruitless. Well, until next time, happy Jesus Day. God bless and peace out.